Let's use Reality Composer to create a 3D scene that we can view in AR. We'll start off by creating a new document and then using the horizontal anchor. This will let us build a 3D scene that we can then place upon a horizontal surface. I'm then going to delete the objects that come as standard by tapping once to select and then tapping again to delete. When your scene is empty, you can press the plus button on the top toolbar to add some new objects onto your page. There are loads of objects built into Reality Composer already, so I'm going to jump straight down to nature and I'm going to choose that mountain range. Tap on it and it will download nice and quickly and then place it on the page for you. Mine's gone in absolutely huge, as I guess mountains are, so I'm going to zoom out by using two fingers to pinch and zoom. I can then obviously rotate and I can view this in full 3D, but I want to add some more objects as well. I'm going to press that plus button again, and this time I'm going to scroll down till I find the weather objects. And I'm going to add the sun and some clouds. I'm going to zoom through this bit a little bit quicker, but you can remember to use one finger to drag it around the page. You can use the three different coloured arrows for the X, Y and Z axes, and you can rotate objects and scale them using the inspector on the right hand side. Have a little play around, and when you've got a scene that you're happy with, you can press the AR button in the top corner. Your iPad or iPhone will then find a flat surface, and it will place that scene there for you. You can use one finger to move that scene around, and two fingers to make it bigger or smaller in augmented reality, but then you can move your device around and you can view that 3D scene as if you were really there. Think of all the things you can get your children to do with this, from recreating scenes from books or films, to recreating parts of history as well. Hey, thanks for watching that video. Now, if you enjoyed that and you want to find some more quick tips for your iPad or to use in your classroom, do me a favour and press the subscribe button down below. That will really help me out and it will help you keep up to date with all the latest tips and tricks on my YouTube channel.